I'm Jersey and today we're going to be making an aircraft car. You just have to buy the STEM kit. We'll show you the STEM kit, the aircraft car, and do we have everything we need here? Yeah. There's only a few simple steps, so I should be able to do like a lot of it by myself, but my dad's here to help me if I need help. Yeah, so let's get started, but first let's talk about the principal idea. If there's any kids out there, so what this is about, we're going to make an aircraft car and the thrust generated by the propeller is going to have a propeller. You know how planes have a propeller. And this is going to help it slide forward. So if we're able to do everything correctly, that's what should happen. And we got a battery here for the power. We got our screws. So yeah, let's get started. Step one, install board one, board two, and board three. What do you think one, two, three are? One, boards one, two, three. One. Mm-hmm. Two, three. Right. See at the end of three dots, one, two, three. That needs to be facing that way, right? So we homeschool Jersey and one day a week we do the STEM video. So this is actually part of his science class. And this is really good for working on his dexterity, his coordination. Because as a child, he's six years old, super smart, but he still has to learn how to use his fingers like we all do as kids. And this is good for that, right? Yeah. Good job. And now when you get it in, we need to use a screw on the other side. This could be the tricky part. Now, can you try to screw one of those in? And if you have trouble, let me know. I'll help you with that. See if you can get a screw in there. It might be easier to put it on the screwdriver first. There you go. It's a little bit tricky, isn't it? How about if we, if we put it down like that? Look, we can use the table to help brace it. So I, I'll show you what I would do for the first one. And I'll let him try to do the second one. Oh, I think he got it. You just got it in. Now, Jersey, while I'm doing this, do you want to tell people about we're going camping today? Yeah, we're going camping today, and we bought BB guns, and we bought a tent, sleeping bag, and mm -hmm. other stuff for camping. And we're going camping today. Yeah, after, after uh, school, right? Mm-hmm. There you go, bud. Good job. So try to screw it down straight. There you go. Yeah, so this is actually Jersey's first time camping, and we're gonna sleep outside. Are you? Are you? Have uh, you camped before? Oh uh, yeah, a lot. And when I started camping a lot when I was your age, and it was really fun. And so I'm trying to give Jersey some of the fun that I used to have. Have you hunted? Uh, yeah, I've hunted. We're not gonna hunt today, though, right? No. We can pretend to hunt. We're not really a gun family, so having a, even a BB gun in the house kind of freaked out my wife. Right. It looks real. It looks real, right? Okay, step one, very good job. That's it, let's go to step two. Install board four and secure with screws. So now which one do you think is board four? Let's, I think you're right, but let's make it sure. Is. It is, yep, you're right. So I think we made a mistake here, but I think we're good. I think we made it harder for ourselves because if we would have done this, it would have been easier to screw. But we already screwed it in, didn't we? Next step, we're supposed to screw it in, but we jumped ahead and that's why it was harder to screw it in. So we don't need that part, so it's already screwed in. So let's go to number three. Install board five board six board seven and then secure them with screws so boards five six seven which are what what are boards five six and seven yeah i think you got seven them right looks there. like this yep good now see if you can put the middle piece in i think we should do this so i think that's yeah. better than what i would have done good now do you see the screw hole right there i think we have to put a screw in to the side right to make sure it stays here you go i'll get it started because they're kind of tricky these screws even for me, a little bit tricky. So what are you excited about with uh, camping? Fishing and I'm excited. Oh, oh, we made a mistake. I feel so bad. The worms we bought are in the Bronco. We didn't put them in the fridge. Mmm, that's not good. I'm sorry, worms. I think it's a, a very important if we accidentally even kill even worms that we say we're sorry, right? That's our fault, my fault, isn't it? They're probably not alive anymore. No, they're not. So I'm gonna say I'm sorry out loud to the worms. That's my fault. That's not good, is it? Mm. I just now thought about it. What else happened when we tried to, we bought everything at the store to go camping? What happened um, outside? We bought BBs for the BB guns and Dada found them under a sleeping, under a bag. So we didn't know if we paid for them. So we bring it back inside and said we didn't. So we paid for them. Well, we brought it back inside. We said, I don't know if we paid for these because they were kind of under the sleeping bag in the cart. And we said, can we find out if we paid for them? Can you screw those in? And so that was a lesson in what, bud? Honest. 
Huh? Honesty. Honesty, right. Because we didn't know if we paid for the BB, so they said, let's go back inside. And the guy said, you know what? You did, you did pay for them. And I said, well, let's pay for them. He said, that will be six, he said 63, and Jersey thought it was $63, but it was $6.35, <laughs> right? I brought it up in front of Jersey because I wanted him to see the right thing to do is that we could have easily came home with the BBs, but that was not the right thing to do, right, bud? Mm -hmm. But I did make a mistake with the worms. The, the right thing to do was to bring them inside, put them in the refrigerator, but dad forgot. So that was my fault. And I apologize to the universe for that, for making that mistake. That wasn't cool, was it? Good job, buddy. So we got the screws in there. So now we're moving along, moving along. What's step uh, four there? Install board eight and secure with two screws. Okay, so let's set this up the way like that. So where's this board, is board eight? eight? I think it goes. Wait a minute, did we, did we miss? Oh, we missed. No, right here. Wait a minute. Uh, I, oh, I made a mistake. Uh, I keep jumping ahead. All right, so I got to unscrew these, this and put that on. To, I'll do that real fast. That's my fault. You're going to sleep outside for the first time tonight. What do you think about that? Um, you scared? Not really. Okay. What do you think it's going to be like? Cool. Got your sleeping bag. But it's starting to look like a plane, right, already, guys? Mm -hmm. Starting to look like a plane? Okay. Here you go. Can you screw those in both really good? So once again, this is really good for Jersey to do or any kid to like work on your coordination because um, it's really hard to get the screwdriver in the hole there and to turn it enough times, right? I think it's good. Now what's next, bud? Are we on step five? Yes. Okay. What does step five say? Wrap the copper wire of the wire on the metal bracket of the motor. So that, that's right here. That's already done. So look, let's make that look like the picture. I think if we go like that, does that look like the picture? Yeah. Science lesson is... We're gonna put the battery, a battery is just energy storage, right? Like we turn- energy inside the metal thing. Inside the battery is energy, right? Mm -hmm. So it can also be dangerous. That's why we don't wanna put batteries in our mouths and stuff, right? If we put the battery in here and we plug this wire up to another electrical source over here, it will transfer this energy over there. So sound, something has to vibrate. Then the vibrations travel through the air and they eventually reach our ear and our eardrum vibrates. It tells the ear that there's a sound and then the ear tells the brain that there's a sound and our brain tells us what it is. Exactly right. And that's kind of what's happening here in a way. These vibrations are transferring through this wire all the way to the battery, to all the way to the motor, right? Insert the motor into the hole of the board of the bow? No, they misspelled it, yeah. Board two and board three. Here, the battery holder on the board. What do you think you need to do here? So ins insert the motor into the hole of board number two. So here's the motor. Board number two. And uh, number two, you did that earlier, right? Mm -hmm. That's yes. gonna go more like that, right? And so how's that going to go into there? Let's make sure we don't mess up the wires. It might be, it might be easier if we go up this way. What do you think if you push it up that way? Yeah, I think it's too fat to get in there though, right? That's what it shows. But what does it say for the battery? Can you do the battery? It says connect it to board, first board with... A screw? So now on the back side, let's just find a screw. You want to do, you want to put a screw in here? Three. Three screws? Here's okay. a screw. There's three. Let's things. see where we can put a screw in. You want to put a screw in right there? Right there. I'm really excited, but also kind of nervous because my first time camping. Mm-hmm. But sometimes being nervous is good, right? Yeah. Maybe we can talk to kids out there, maybe ask them, like, is there anything that they, you've been nervous about the first time? Maybe, what else is something that people can be nervous about? Maybe like riding a roller coaster? What do you uh, think? I've definitely been nervous about that. You used to be really nervous riding roller coasters. My sisters seemed really scared when you had to, when you made them ride the hole. Yeah, sometimes I make my kids do things that are kind of scary because we have to what overcome our fears sometimes. Right? Mm -hmm. Is it important to overcome our fears? Mm -hmm. I think so. Okay, you want to screw this one in the rest? I'll let you screw that in the rest. He can keep these so he's learning and we're doing fun things and we're doing a video as well because Jersey said he wanted to restart playtime with Jersey, right? Mm -hmm. You want to tell people why? Why, why, do you, why do you want to start doing videos again? Uh, I thought that like we could do experiments and challenges and 
And in the comments, you can put what kind of videos you want to see me do. So, okay, so I finally figured it out with the screw. We oh, had it so on the wrong. Yeah, here you go. You do the rest of it. That's way easier. Yeah, that's it. That's better, right? It's really important to follow the instructions. Sometimes if we jump ahead and we make the wrong decision, that's why we have to listen and follow directions, which even dad sometimes doesn't do that correctly because I like to jump ahead, but we make mistakes that way, right? Josie, what do you think? Looks pretty good? Yeah. Okay, what's the next step? Next step, so. We did seven, that. Number install the nine board, 10 board, and 11 board. Ooh, this is the fun part. This is the part that makes it look like a plane. So is it this board? Is it yeah, these two? Okay. It looks like it. So do you want to put these in first? There you go. Now, do you want to go and put a screw in the, in the top there? Because I think we're going to need a screw, aren't we? Good job. Okay, maybe Jersey's got it there. Yeah. I'll help you out. Yeah, the screws are hard. we got to keep practicing on the screws. Screws are like the hardest yeah. part. And I'm helping him because, you know, obviously we're doing a video here. So we're trying to get this accomplished at the same time. There we go. And get that one started for you. Just don't press too hard because it might break the wood. Okay, so there you go. And then we're going to put that on the airplane here, and then it's going to start looking like an airplane. So we're getting closer. So now I think we're supposed to put it in. Yeah, put it on top, right? With the stars on top. There we go. See if you can do that. Oh. There we go. Oh, Ooh, apple. look at that. It looks like a plane, right? So how about if I hold it like this for you, and then you can screw in the screws so that this, this might kind of like a two-person job right here. Usually with our fingers, we can get it started a little bit easier. But it's starting to look like a plane, isn't it? For the camping trip, we also got a slingshot. Yeah, slingshot. Okay, you ever use one of those? Yeah. Remember we went to, like, it was a school break and we went to this hotel thing. Oh, we used one there? We bought one. Okay. <laughs> Dada got a telescope so we could see the moon. He said it, Dada set it up already, mm -hmm. so we Last should night. be able to use it. I got a powerful telescope so we can look at the stars. So I think camping today is going to be awesome. We got a slingshot. We got a BB gun. You we probably got... should have got the travel one. How much was it? Like 370, yeah, like 376? Well, $300. Oh. This one's kind of tricky for you, so I'll get it in there for you. I think kids can do these, but you know, you got to be really good with uh, screwing things in, especially small screws, not even big screws. And they're hard to, to, to get in there sometimes. That's why I'm getting it started and letting Jersey kind of do the rest. Here, you can do the rest here. I hope it's like a full moon. We should look at the weather before we go. If it's cloudy, then that's not going to be good, right? So this, if it, but there's stars out. If there's no clouds, we can see some good stars. Look at this, guys. All right, it's starting to shape up pretty good. What's next? Step eight. Use board 12 and board 13 to form the aircraft tail. Where does the aircraft tail go? On the back. Okay, so which pieces do we need for the aircraft tail? That one and that one. Okay, you want to put those together? Now that's going to go in that and we need to put a screw in it, right? Now put it through there like the tail is supposed to go. Mm -hmm. Look at the picture. Make sure the fin is doing what it should be doing. Don't you think the fin, look at the picture here. The flat part goes the other way. No, no, you're good. So just do it like this. Just turn it around like that maybe. See that hole right there? Can you try to get in there a little bit? There we go. Now hold it like that and screw it a little bit. Yeah, good. Oh, get in. Try to get. See, try to get in the hole. Maybe next video you can tune in to see how the camping trip went. Because a lot of these videos with Jersey, we're just gonna be talking about what we're doing. Hey, Dad, can we do a video while we're camping? Yeah, we'll definitely do at least uh, like an Instagram video or something like that. You wanna do a video? Yeah. Maybe we can do that. But you should bring a GoPro, not a ca not a camera like that. There you go. Turn it all the way till it gets to the wood. And what's hey, the next part? Mm -hmm. The wheels. Assemble the rubber ring into the groove of the pulley to assemble the wheel. Where's the pulley? So we got the wheel. We need to put this in mm -hmm. there. Can you get it around there? So we're making the wheels now. We're putting the rubber around the wheels because most wheels are just made out of rubber. So it's kind of tight. Wait, you're made out of rubber? Yeah. Like our, the tires out there on our cars are just rubber. So this is tough for Jersey, but he's only six. That's why it's good to practice it though, because the more you do it, the easier it'll be, right? Bring it up, keep going. There we go. Oh, there we go. And now, what does it say? Assemble the rubber ring into the groove of the pulley to assemble the wheel. I think you should put it through here first. So slide it through. Nope, both sides. How's that gonna work? No, 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 how's that gonna work? Are there two holes? Mm -hmm. It's gotta go through both holes. There you go. 
So a lot of this too is letting New Jersey try to figure out the problems on his own. Oh, do you need the bearing? Do you need these, those, those things first? Oh, good job, yep. So push it a little bit more, good, perfect. Take it a little bit more, so we need the wheel to be able to have enough room for the wheel. So let me see if I can get it on there a little bit more for you. Put the bearing on the other side. It's called bearing? I thought it was called a brushing. Maybe it's a bushing. I call it a bearing, right? There we go. Now do you want to put your wheels on? So look, we got the bushings on. Let me push it up a little bit more. I think that's good, right? What do you guys think? That seems like it's good. You want to put the wheels on now? Good job. Now the other wheel on the other side. Perfect. Look at that. We need a wheel on the back, right? We gotta put a, the back wheel in. And also, our house looks different because we moved. But I like this place better. You do? Best thing is, it's important to teach people how to make good financial decisions. And our financial decision was, we moved to a place so we don't, we don't have the mortgage, which means we don't have to pay for our house every month. Let me ask you a question. Do you think it's better to own your house or have to, or have to pay someone to live in your house? Oh. It's better to own your house, right? And so that's kind of what we did. We said, you know what? We're going to own our house completely and we don't want to pay anybody. And that's kind of the decision we made. So we, we did kind of downgrade, but I think we upgraded, meaning we made a better decision. And Jersey, are you, are you enjoying homeschool? Yeah. What are you enjoying about it? It is way better than public school. Same thing, so you got a bearing, a bushing on one side or both sides and put your wheel on there. Oh, no, no, this is different. The wheel needs to go in the middle. How are you gonna, how are you gonna get the wheel in the middle with, all, with that as well? How are you gonna do that? I'm trying to push it through. Okay, but then if you push it through, how are you gonna, how are you gonna be able to get that through the holes and that in the middle at the same time? Don't you think you need to put the wheel in the middle first and then put that through? Yeah, like that, yeah, there you go. Now it's in the middle, and now let me try to hold it for you so you can put that through. So put that through, and we'll try to find the hole. There you go, now push it through. Got it? Did, you, did we find the hole? It kind of hurts, cause like- It hurt a little bit? It kind of pushes against my thumb. Okay, well, let me help you out a little bit here. It is kind of tricky. This one it does hurt your thumb a little bit, right? Oh, I got it. I think all that's left is battery propeller. Yeah. Oops, let's make sure this turns though. I think it does. Do you want to get the batteries? I'll get double. What do we need, double A? I Jersey's, think that's the same as the going to get the double A. I think we're, we're ready to go. See if this thing works good. So what's missing on the plane? Propeller. Oh, that's important. You got to have a propeller on a plane. Do you want to put the propeller on? Yeah. We got to be careful with the wires. Oh, you got it. Let's see if it turns. This one might be hard to get on too. Let me help you out. We don't want to break it because this wood is kind of fragile. Some of these pieces are a little bit fragile. What does fragile mean, bud? Like it could break easily. Yeah, it could break easily, right? Okay, looks like we got it though. Last step is the batteries. You want to do that? Can you get it in? Doesn't seem hard for me to get in. There we go. All right, we got one battery in. Mm, yep, remember the negative part goes on the spring part, right? This is the moment of truth to see if it works. Okay, I'll let you do it. So what do we do, guys? So guys, we got everything set up. <gasps> what? <laughs> ah, look at that. So cool. It's like a fan. Wait. It is kind of like a fan. It's a hot day too, right? Super cool. What do you think, buddy? It's super cool. Yeah? That works super cool. I didn't know it was gonna be a fan like that because this is turning, right, and it's generating wind. It's generating enough power for it to move forward that way, right? So, so cool. We got the wheels on the bottom that help it move. We accomplished, we made the aircraft car. If this is something you like, do some STEM with your family or whatever, or your dad or your mom, and then uh, make sure to subscribe and come back next week. If you want to do this, you could always buy the STEM kit. Aircraft car, it's made by Peroxy. Bye. Bye.